Hello there beautiful humans and welcome to the video. It's probably the last mile day this November and uh, hubby was kind enough to give me the afternoon off from work in order to go metal detecting provided I work again tomorrow morning. Hmm. Anyway, I've come out to a, a park in a neighborhood that was built in the 1950s, 1960s and there are bleachers so let us see if perhaps there is not asphalt under these bleachers. I've been disappointed in the past. So let's have a look. Unfortunately, I left my hand digger at home in my haste to get out, so I'm working with my big shovel. We'll see how that works. I hope I don't have to go back home. Anyway, I'll get in touch with you again at the first plug. The bleachers do have asphalt underneath them. Boo! And my first plug is a pull tab. Double boo! I might actually go into the infield where it's sandy. We'll see. Here's a nice little surface find. It's a dime. I can't see the date with my glasses on. Just a second. Looks like 2018, 2019. Hmm, I'll take it. It's in good shape. Here's something here. I'm not sure what that is. Let me just scoop that. Is that part of an old sink penny? I don't have my glove on tight. No, that's just a rock. I'll take the dime. First coin of the day. I almost didn't dig this because it was right at the base of this bench and I thought it might just be a part of the, uh, the hardware for the bench. It's a little trillium enamel pin. The pin part is broken off it and it says UFC86 88 Huh. I'll have to look that up. I know it's not ultimate fighting whatever it is. Hmm. I'm glad to have that. It's the Provincial Flower of Ontario. Normally, I wouldn't film a pull tab, but I am filming this for two reasons. One is that it's an old school tear-off pull tab with a beaver tail. And two is, it was that close one finger distance from the fence. This simplex, my goodness, I am loving it. You just have to learn how to whisper it. It's, it really is a bit of a, a thoroughbred and it likes to, it likes to run, it likes to go deep, it gives you almost too much information. So I am running it here in this park on beach because that will get rid of the iron. And there's a lot of bottle caps and, and junk here. So yeah, our, my other dodge is to run in all metal and then just look at the numbers and discard the iron. Well, this is an interesting spill. I've got a little plastic button that still has thread on it. Must have torn off somebody's uniform and a very crusty green penny. I'm going to have to pick this and see what it is. Stand by. Well, I can see the leaves and I can see one cent, but I can't see the date. I'll have to get home and give it a really good scrub. And wow, I can't even tell which portrait of the queen that is. Well, it'll be a mystery until the wrap up. Stay tuned. It's a good green one, though. And here's another greenie in the plug. In the hole. Ooh, looks like I scratched it. This was another mid-70s, like 74 signal. 
and it appears to be a 1971 copper penny. That's a while ago. So that will be the first portrait of the Queen over here on the worser side, as West Country Clegg would say. This side is much worser. Uh, obviously it was lying this way and all the leachate from the rain going through this uh, sand which is highly limestoned has eaten away at the surface. The back looks pretty good. I'll take it. I think I have a total of 12 cents now. <laughs> I've moved over to this little tot lot beside the ball diamond because frankly I'm tired of digging, digging through gravel. So we'll see what the sand has to offer. Do a quick ground balance and I'll get back to you at the first plug here. I have a little buddy. <laughs> this little dog seems to be without his owner. Hey buddy. Uh, he's not interested. Not interested in metal detecting. <laughs> it's nice to have company though. I almost didn't dig this clad dime because it sounded like rubbish. Uh, it was like an 18 number, but then there was this little 65 jump to it and I thought, well, what the heck, I might as well find out what it is. It's 10 cents. Yay! pretty grimy, but I might be able to clean it up enough to spend it. <laughs> 22 cents to the good now. Woohoo! Here's another surface find. It's a fork. I seem to have quite good luck finding forks and other cutlery, but particularly forks, which is good because they can make the, uh, like the owl's ear tufts. <laughs> All right, what does this say now? Stainless steel, acier inoxidable. Okay, we have a bilingual fork, French and English. Thank you, I'll take it. This was another of those super jumpy signals that I almost didn't dig, but for some reason I did because it was just such a present kind of tone. There's the, I think the most recent portrait of the queen. This is a nickel, believe it or not. Oh, there's the beaver. I can see the, the arch of the beaver's back there. And since, so yes, I, I knew from the size that it was a nickel. I don't know if I can get a date here. It might be 2001. Let me give it a scrub with my fingernail. Well, your guess is as good as mine. Perhaps it's 2007. Yep, a pretty scabby five cent piece, but I'll take it. Just once I'd like to get through a hunt without digging one of these filthy creatures. The foil bottle seal. It sounds like it should be a coin, but it sure isn't. Blah. I'm at a different park now, and my first plug is a pull tab with a dandelion growing right through it. Look at the size of the plant and the size of the root. Wow. Well, this is a little different. This bolt is actually attached into the hole of this tree. It's very firm. <laughs> now look at the size of this tree. Oh my goodness. That's an old one. And here's all my gear at the bottom of it. And so far all I have found is pull tabs. Moving on. And here is my first coin in this park. It is a Canadian copper penny. It looks like 1988.
A little green, yes. But in much better condition than the coins I found on the baseball field. Another one. It sounded just like a coin. This was a signal that jumped between 75 and 90. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but I'm glad to have a 1971 quarter. I opened the plug again because there was more. Unbelievable. I finally found some bleachers that aren't paved. So I'm going to head under there. But before that, I'm going to show you my 1985 penny. Here's another penny, thoroughly crusty. It was about 75 though, so I'm assuming it's a copper. I have to remind myself that this isn't the Fisher F44. A 65 was a copper penny on that. Now it's more like 75, so I have to rethink my numbers. I'm cleaning up on pennies. This one's in 1993. It has the third portrait of the Queen. Well, it was a spill. Here's where I dug that 83 penny or 85 penny, and down here just a couple of inches away is an 85 quarter. That's nice. I haven't even got under the bleachers yet. I'm just going around the perimeter and here I've got a 1970 penny. Or is it 79? Could be 78. This plug had a really strange bouncy signal that was hanging around the copper penny range, but it also bounced up to 80, 80 plus. And it's two copper pennies and a quarter. And I'm trying to determine the date on this quarter. It's a, I, I want to call it a memorial quarter and that's not what it's called. You know the term when it's celebrating when it's celebrating something. 1999. Oh, this is one of those uh, pre-millennium quarters. Oh, how exciting. I don't think I have that one. How nice. Nice little coin spill. Thank you, Park. Tootie. That's what I'm talking about. I can buy a coffee pretty soon. Once again, this was a jumpy signal that I almost didn't dig, but it just had that wonderful, like, really loud kind of present sound to it. SSA All-Star. So I'm going to have to find out what that stands for. Secondary School Association, Senior Soccer Association. I don't know. I'll find out. It's got lots of writing on the back. Made in China. Telephone number. Hmm. Interesting. Some kind of trophy. Cool. I love finding stuff like this. This will display nicely with that little trillium pin I found a little bit earlier at the other park. Nice. Well, that's nice. I'm under the swings. And I found myself another toonie. 2016? 2013, 2015. <laughs> Lovely. Well, this is ring number seven. I think it's plated. The number, it was hanging around 35, 36, which made me quite excited, but I think it's just plated. I'll take it home and clean it up. It feels quite rough, so that's my guess. I'm so glad to find a ring. I love finding jewelry. 
This is amazing. I'm even finding pennies of surface finds. And they're all coppers. I don't think anybody has hit this park. This is exciting. I just wish I had months left to hunt in. Sadly, the snow's going to come soon. Hello again, beautiful humans, and welcome to the wrap-up for my hunt at the two parks. Uh, the first one, I didn't stay very long. Um, there were people playing in the playground, and I didn't want to be creepy, so I, I took a look under the, the bench in one of the dugouts around the ball field, but frankly, I just didn't feel like digging through gravel. So uh, after a brief time, I went along to another park. Anyway, here's what I found at the first one my nasty foil bottle seal that I can't do a hunt without finding. These puzzle me. They're cardboard discs. I find these in the playgrounds all the time, under the swings, in the sand. I have no idea what they're for. If someone can help me out, that would it would really help. I would appreciate knowing what those are for and why they're always in playgrounds. <clears throat> I found a bottle cap, the break-off kind. I found three beer caps, uh, totally rusty. These two are from the same brand, but I don't know what the brand is, if you can help me out with that. This pull tab also is red with a white crown, so I don't know what that is. Is it from Pop? Is it from beer? I don't know. Other pull tabs of assorted styles, including an old beaver tail pull tab. I found a little bead that was on the surface. I found this button underground, but it had a, a very green penny with it. It still has some thread in it. I don't know whether it came off somebody's baseball uniform or whether it was one of the moms or I don't know. Anyway, it was in the dugout. I have no idea what this is. It is not ferrous. I suppose it's a piece of copper. Uh, it, it looks like it's broken on that end, so presumably it had another piece. So uh, I guess it's some kind of a bracket or something. Didn't know what this was till I cleaned it up, and it says Malibu. So that's off a bottle of rum. Um, it's not the lid, I think it's like the neck collar. So somebody was drinking hard liquor in the park, which I'm not that keen to hear. And I found this gigantic fork, a stainless steel fork. Um, <laughs> yeah, somebody must have dropped it off the picnic table and it got lost in the grass. And I found a couple of coins. I found a 2019 dime. That was a very, very clean dime. This one, I believe this one was on the surface. This one was not. It's a 2003. And it's pretty cranky looking. So I don't know if anybody would really want me to spend that, but I'll see what I can do to clean it up further. The nickel is in very ugly condition. A 2007 nickel. The poor old beaver looks like he's, uh, I don't know, walking into a deep fog or something. And the queen is looking into the fog from the other direction, I guess. And a couple of very green pennies in 1987, which you probably just have to take my word for. These were in the gravel of the dugout. And it's very limestoney, like very, very fine gravel but lots of lime in it, so it's really eaten at the coins. This one's a 1971. A 
and you can't even see the queen. So this side must have been down and this side was facing up, which received all the chemicals leaching onto it. And my favorite find from that park was this little enameled trillium pin, the trillium being the provincial flower of Ontario. On the back, it says UFC apostrophe 88. So I don't know what that is. I'll, I'll see if I can find out. And if I do, I'll post something up here for you to read. But I like that. That's a pretty little thing. Then I moved over to another park in the same neighborhood, same vintage. It's a much larger park. It has a soccer field. It's uh, next door to a, a public school. And it has bleachers, which, hooray, don't have any asphalt underneath them. So I was able to poke around them. And another time when it's not so wet, I will actually go and start crawling with my pinpointer. But I did find a satisfying number of targets. Uh, <laughs> the top of the can nearly blew my ears off. It was pretty close to the surface. And this one also, it rang up kind of like a copper penny, but with a whole bunch of weirdness with it. And I think it might be an exploded butane tin. I, I don't know for sure. It's an aerosol can of some sort, and it has obviously been put in a fire. Three more of these stinking foil seals, which really irritate me. And another variety of pull tabs, a whole ring pull with beaver tail, and just the beaver tail of another one. So those are from the 70s or 80s, maybe. The 70s, definitely. These are newer, obviously, but this is what makes me wonder that perhaps no one has actually hunted this park. Another of the aluminum break-off bottle caps, uh, Stewart's soda pop, and another one of these red ones with the with the white crown. So I I'm going to try and find out what that is. And again, if I do, I'll post something up here for you to read. I don't know what this little plug is. This little squeegee rubbery plug. It feels kind of gross but it was on the surface. This little iron clip, it looks like the sort of thing they put over, um, you know, to, to clip fabric to a post, like a flag or something. Very rusty, including a rusty bobby pin. This thing, honestly, I, it's some kind of weird pewtery pot metal. And for all the world, it looks to me like part of the handle off a teapot or a sugar bowl or something. It's, it's got that, that ridge here, and it has the curvature. It's got another ridge here. My guess, yours is as good as mine. These three pieces of aluminum sheet were in one plug. They're very badly corroded, very fragile. This one, I can see a design on it. See that kind of Art Deco stripey, diamondy design? And it has a little rim. So honestly, I don't know what this is. I would love to know if you can tell me. I found another piece of something very similar with a slightly different kind of Art Deco-y looking design. in a park on the other side of town. So please help me out. I'm really, really interested to know what this would be. I've found another enameled pin. It's an enameled pin kind of day. This one also has the pin broken off the back. And it's got lots of writing on the back, but I see that it's repeating. It says Wilson Trophy made in China, and then there's a 1-800 number, a toll-free number. So I guess that's the manufacturer. And what SSA is, I don't know. 
Again, I'll see if I can find out before I put the video up. And if I do, I'll let you know. I got a little button top or snapper top. It says gust, as in gust of wind. I found a little ring, which startled me because the numbers were in the in the 30s, which on my Fisher F44 might have indicated gold. And when I saw the color, I got really super excited, but um, it's obviously plated. It's real bubbly and rough, but it's a ring. I like to find the jewelry. And I found a bunch of coins. I'm really pleased. I got over $5 in change. 2006 toonie, 2015 toonie, a 1985 quarter, and a 1971 quarter. Boy, that looks nice. Look at how crisp that is. And there's the second portrait of the Queen. This has some toning on it, but it's perfectly spendable, and so is this one. And a 1999, a sort of pre-millennium quarter. This is December. They put one out each month in 1999 to celebrate the upcoming millennium. Third portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. Yeah, that's, that's nice that that's in, in such good condition. Um, I'm not sure if the if the quarters were still solid nickel at this point, but I'm guessing they are because if that were clad of that age, it would be certainly rusty by now. So I'm glad to have that. I found one beggarly zinc penny, which is a 2000. And again, you'll have to take my word for it, I think, because the date is under a huge glob of corrosion. It's got chunks nibbled out of the edge. The queen is completely indecipherable, so this is garbage. I'll use it for a fish scale on one of my sculptures. And then I'll take you down through the copper pennies. By how many did I count? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 copper pennies to one zinc penny. That's a pretty good ratio. So let me take them down through uh, through the dates. 91, 89, 88, 86, two 86s, 85, three 83s, 82, two 82s, a 79, which is kind of grimy, grimy and green. Two 78s, one looking much nicer than the other. A 73. Which has some green on it. Yeah, that's, that's lost its luster for sure. And a 1970. Looking just fine, thank you. This is a 50-year-old coin. And my very first centennial coin that I have ever dug, a 1967 Canadian penny, celebrating 100 years of Confederation, 1867 to 1967. So there you have it, my very first centennial coin. I am very excited to have dug that up. So there you are, my friends. These are the spoils of my hunt at park number one and park number two. So I am well over $5 richer than I was before I went out, and it's very satisfying to be able to dig in Ontario in November. It might be the last time for this year, but I'm glad I had the opportunity to go out. So until I get a chance to see you again, here's Auntie. Waving goodbye. Toodaloo.